Hi, I'm Wanda from Alanda Craft, and today we're going to be making a project using fabric from Mrs. Quilty. So let's take a look at what we've got in the box. It's very nicely packaged, and as you can see, we've got some fabric. Now we have two bundles of fabric, and there are eight fat quarters in each of these bundles, and both of the bundles are exactly the same. So you get 16 fat quarters, so there's plenty of fabric to make a nice project with. And you can see these are really quite pretty, and they go nicely together. And the quality is very good. I'm very pleased with the quality. It's not motor quality, but it's got a really nice feel to it. It's on par with quite a lot of the fabrics that we've purchased in the past. And we also received a few other little goodies in the box, including a pin cushion. Always very handy. And this one fits on your wrist, of course. Now there's a magazine in here, and I thought this was a really quite a nice idea. And I'll just turn it round so you can see it. You can see as we flip through, it gives you the names of the fabrics. So if you have a project in mind that requires more fabric, you can buy another pack from the Mrs Quilty website. Now it tells you what exactly is in the box, and there are some hints and tips on quilting. And then there's the outline of the projects that are in the magazine. So you can see the first project is a quilt block of the month, and it tells you all the materials you'll need for that project. And then it gives you the instructions on cutting it all out and putting the whole thing together. And as you can see, there are five different projects. There's plenty there to get you started. And each of them come with full instructions on cutting and assembling. Now we also got a bag of lavender, and you can use that in one of the projects that's in the booklet. And there's also a project for a headband in this book, so we have a piece of elastic for that. And because we have a zippered pouch project, we also have a zip. So all of the things you need to get started on these projects are included. Some of them do need extra material, but it tells you that in the pattern instructions, whether that's the case or not. So all in all, I thought the Projects magazine was a really nice idea, and Mrs Quilty is a monthly subscription service, so each month you get a different fabric with different projects, all delivered to your door. So I took 15 of the fat quarters, and what I did is I cut two 10-inch squares from each of the fat quarters, and that gave me 30 squares to work with. So for a fat quarter that measures 18 inches by 22 inches, when cutting your squares, make sure that you cut them as shown here. This will leave you enough fabric to make a border. So I have my 30 squares here, and I'm going to take the top one and take the next one down, and you can sort the pile beforehand if you wish to mix and match the colours, or you can just do it randomly. So I'm going to place one on top of the other with the right sides together, and I'm going to line up all the edges to make sure they're nice and neat. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line across the diagonal. And I'm using a friction pen, so the line will disappear once I iron it. And now I'm going to sew a quarter inch seam down either side of this drawn line. And I'm going to do that with all of these squares. So here we are at the machine, and you can see that I have lined my quarter inch foot on the drawn line, and I'm sewing down one side. Then I'll turn the block around and I'll sew down the other side. So I've sewn my squares together in lots of two, and I've sewn down on both sides of the drawn line, and I'll just turn it over so you can see it a little better. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ruler, and I'm going to lay it along that line that we drew, and I'm going to cut along that line. And that is going to give us two half square triangles. And now I'm going to do that with each of the remaining squares in the pile. So I'm going to cut them all down that line that we drew to make all of these into half square triangles. So now that I've done that with each of the squares, I'm going to press the seams to the dark side of the fabric. And I'll also trim each of these squares back to 9.5 inches by 9.5 inches. Now if you're not sure how to do that, we have a tutorial on how to trim half square triangles, and I'll put a link to that in the description field below. So now lay your pieces out to how you like them to look. And you could actually just sew these together, and that could be your finished quilt top. And I think it looks really pretty, but I've decided that I'm going to add some sashing. So what I've done is I've cut 24 pieces at 1.5 inches by 9.5 inches. And I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of sashing, and I'm going to lay it along each of the squares like this. Now I'm not going to add any to this side or to the other side, because I'll be adding a long piece of sashing to the sides. Now I'll just work my way up the rows, adding sashing to each of the blocks, and I'll sew them on with a quarter inch seam. 
Now sewing my sashing onto the blocks and what I'm going to do now is sew these blocks into rows. So I'll take my first two blocks and sew them together with a quarter inch seam and I usually sew my blocks together into lots of two. So I'll do this lot and I will add on the last one. And then I'll sew them all together to form the row. So I have all of my rows sewn now with the sashing between each of the blocks and now I'm going to add the long pieces of sashing between the rows. Now technically the rows should measure 49 and a half but as we know when sewing lots of blocks together things may not always measure up exactly so my advice is to measure your rows first then cut your sashing accordingly. Our rows ended up being closer to 49 and a quarter so that's what we went with. Now either way you'll need seven pieces of sashing and you'll need to sew strips together to get the required width. So now we have our sashing attached to all of the rows and we're going to sew the rows together. And to do that I'm going to take one row and lay it down on top of the other. Now I'll pin along here and then I'll take a look because I want to make sure that these pieces here line up nicely when I've sewn it together. Okay, so as you can see I've sewn all the rows together and now it's time to add the long sashing to the sides of the quilt. Now I've cut my pieces according to how long my quilt is and I'll go and sew those on now. You can see that I've added the sashing to the sides and my centre piece is all finished and now we're ready to add a border. So from our remaining fat quarter pieces we cut 12 pieces that measured 7.5 inches by 21.5 inches. Now if your fat quarters are cut a little oddly and you can't get pieces that measure exactly that then just cut them as close as possible to that size. We're going to be trimming as you will see further on so it should still work. Now what I'm going to do is sew the three block strips at the bottom here first and then I'm going to trim them back so they fit the width of my quilt. So you can see that I've sewn the three strips together and I want to trim this back to fit my quilt which measures 51 inches wide. So what I'm going to do is fold the strip in half and I'm just lining everything up nicely and I'll make a crease along the fold. And then I'm going to line the fold on the zero mark on my cutting mat and I'll trim off the excess at 25 and a half inches which is half the width of my quilt. So there you are. I've sewn those pieces together and trimmed them back so that they fit the width of my quilt nicely. Now I'm going to sew this border onto the quilt. So I'll lay it over the top and sew it together with a quarter inch seam all the way along. And I'm going to do exactly the same to the top border piece. So now that I've sewn the top border and the bottom border on, I went ahead and I sewed the side border pieces together and trimmed them back to 61 inches. To get that measurement, I measured from the seam line here and I've taken it up to the edge of the sashing at the top and it came to 60 and a half. But I had to add a half an inch because I'm going to be adding cornerstones to the strip so I'll need a quarter of an inch at each end for those. So now I can add the cornerstones and I'm going to place them right sides together on the border piece and sew with a quarter inch seam. And I'll do that for all four corners. And now that I have my long border strips with cornerstones attached and I've done that for both sides and now it's just a matter of sewing them on with a quarter inch seam. So there you go. Our half square triangle fat quarter quilt top is now complete and I love how this turned out. This fabric is so lovely to work with and it looks really pretty and summery. So I'm very happy with it. A thank you to Mrs Quilty for sending us the fabric and don't forget if you would like to purchase a subscription there is a link and a coupon code in the description field below. So thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and if you have please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and don't forget all the measurements and instructions for this quilt are on the website.